Welcome to Kayak DIY. In this episode, we're going to go over what I have dubbed, I guess, the homemade kayak elevator trailer system. Basically, it's just a name that kind of fits what it looks like to me. Uh, this idea came from Roger Coker, and he actually took the video and submitted it to me. Um, this is something I've wanted to do for a long time include viewers in the content creation. So hope you enjoy this video. Okay folks, this is the second video that I've done on my kayak trailer. I was asked by a couple of folks to <clears throat> do a little more detailed video as to how I built this trailer. And um, Anyway, that's what I'm going to do here, and hopefully it'll help somebody out. I just, like I said in the first video, it really was built to keep me from straining my back trying to get my wife and I have a, a pair of perception strikers, and they're really difficult to load and unload from the top of an SUV, so I bought this jet ski trailer from a guy, and um, I modified it to hold both of our kayaks, and I debated on whether or not to put the kayak side by side, but the trailer width really didn't allow for it since the Striker is a pretty wide kayak. Um, so I decided to go with a stackable trailer. And it kind of puts me back to square one as loading the kayak on top of something. So I designed this trailer to where the top portion of the trailer actually will lower down to... Um, offload and load the second kayak and as you can see it works off of the winch all you do is disengage the winch and excuse my video quality here but I'm, I'm not a videographer but if you ease back on the winch handle the second kayak actually just lowers down onto the platform where the first kayak was and it allows you to load and unload the second kayak uh, pretty easily. And what I did here was I fashioned some brackets out of uh, aluminum angle and bolted them to a runner that I put on the trailer. I had to add these to the trailer. The first set of trailer bunks are set, the spacing set for the first striker to slide onto. Um, I added these bunks just to give me something to bolt the um, brackets to. I used gas pipe, half inch gas pipe and a half inch bolt. Um, just remember when you're making these brackets to make sure your holes align. You got to have those holes the same, you know, uh, evenly spaced from the top. In other words, you're going to measure from the top down approximately, I think I used five-eighths of an inch and came down and drilled a hole in each one so that my hole was square and uh, the bolt would slide through. Now, you do have some slop in this, but it, it really doesn't matter because it doesn't affect the functionality of it. This is a 30-inch piece of gas pipe and another T at the top with another half-inch bolt that goes into a 2x4. I built this platform is nothing more than a two by four box with a piece of deck board on top. And of course I've carpeted it all just, you know, to keep from scratching my kayak with a set of trailer bunks underneath it, just like it's on the bottom. The biggest thing about building something like this is to make sure that it's square. Now, while the, the width or the, the squareness of these two pieces of gas pipe don't actually have to be exact. Um, you want the width or the distance from this one in the front to the one on the other side in the front the same and it's the same with the back. And if you'll notice, this piece of gas pipe actually sort of rolls underneath the edge. That gives this some support. It was actually put there intentionally. And if I added a piece of two by two and carpet it it's just a stop block to keep this from going all the way down and laying flat on this bunk because if it does um, it it offers some difficulty in this platform actually 
raising back up. So I didn't want it to go all the way down. I just wanted the front of it to actually rest on the trailer bunks and that back piece of pipe rests on the stop block. This chain is actually, as you can see, it's just a metal hook that I picked up at Lowe's. I drilled a hole through the gas pipe, put it in. This chain is a stop and I have one on each side that allows this platform to raise but won't allow it to go all the way forward in your kayak and just fall forward onto the winch. Let's raise this back up for a better look. And like I say, when you get ready to bring it up, all you gotta do really is just winch it up. And you see the stop chains, when the stop chains pull tight, you put a little tension on it and it's up. Now, these half inch bolts at the top, it's just a half inch bolt with a washer that goes through the gas pipe and through this two by four onto the inside and just bolts up. I actually did a lot of thinking about the amount of stress that it would put on the two by fours, but that striker only weighs 67 pounds. So, it's not really pulling a whole lot of weight up. And I did use pressure treated lumber under that. And I've used the trailer a couple of times with no issues. So, I think it's designed fairly well. And it pulls really good. Now, I notice <clears throat> all I have here is a 200 and I think it's 290 pound uh, working weight rope onto like a 400 pound D-ring and a piece of 400 pound workload chain and some eye bolts to pull this up and down. And a lot of people have mentioned and mentioned, um, you know, if this rope breaks, this kayak is actually going to fall onto the second kayak, onto the bottom kayak, or fall forward or come out in the road. I'm still working on this trailer and it is a work in progress but I have a safety cable now that just loops around between these two eye bolts and actually comes forward and attaches to the trailer up front I'm just attaching it to this metal stud where there was a roller at one time so I do have a safety in place now in case that in case the rope actually does break. And I think I've already shown everyone that the second kayak, I did build a dolly for it. And the kayak dolly is really simple. It just enables me to grab that kayak and roll it pretty much wherever I want to go. That kayak dolly I can't take credit for I actually got it off of YouTube. It's just some PVC pipe that goes up through the scupper holes in the kayak. And it's actually a pretty sweet little design. But I got that from a guy on YouTube. So the second kayak just rolls on, slides up on the trailer bunks, and you strap her down and you're ready to go. <clears throat> now currently, I'm actually strapping this second kayak to the trailer cross members and to the back in these holes. But I'm actually thinking that I'm gonna add a couple more eye bolts up in here because that trailer, the strap has a tendency to slip. So I'm, so I'm gonna put some eye bolts on the bottom just like I have on the top. The top, that's all these are, is eye bolts that I ran through to tie my kayak down. And I also have a tether that I attach to the front of the kayak and attach it here just as a safety. But it's not really difficult to build, so um, it's a pretty simple design. And it seems to function, and I hope it helps. If you guys are interested in building it, then by all means have at it. It's, it's not that difficult, not a hard build, and it's reasonably cheap. So, anyway, I hope this helps somebody, and uh, 
If it does, great. If it doesn't, I'm sorry I took your time up. Anyway, that's the kayak trailer. And if you have any other questions on how to build it, um, I don't know. Just get in touch with me, and I'll be help, happy to help if I can. Anyway, have a great day.